Guten Tag everybody and welcome to CNC Kitchen. In this video I'm going to show you how you can add a small snap-on filament filter to your original Prusa i3 which will help you preventing clogs in the nozzle and improve your print quality. Stay tuned! If you have ever been taking a closer look at the filament rolls you're using, you will notice that they accumulate quite a lot of dust over time on their surface. This will happen probably at almost every place if you're not working in a clean room. The dust and lint will then slowly travel into your extruder while you're printing and can potentially clog up your nozzle. Depending on the amount of dirt in the environment you're working in, the dust can also just contaminate the melted plastic and result in a worse surface finish of your parts. My Mendel 90 already has a filament filter in its design. This is basically just a piece of foam through which the filament is pulled. This then wipes the dust particles from the surface and leaves them on the filter material. If you clean the foam from time to time, you can directly see how much filth is being caught in it. I've been looking for something similar for my Prusa i3, but I haven't found exactly what I had in mind. I took the opportunity to play around in Fusion 360 for the first time and created a neat clip-on filter which can easily be mounted on the extruder block. You can find the design on Thingiverse, the link is down in the description. I printed my filter in Prusa's Black PLA at a layer height of 0.15mm. As a filter material I just used some soft packing foam which I had lying around. You could probably also use a piece of lint-free cloth if you don't have any foam around. The opening in the filter housing is around 13 by 30 mm wide and 15 mm deep. Since you want to apply a little bit of pressure on the filament, cut a piece of foam which is a little bit bigger, something like 20 by 20 mm. You can now create a slit with an X-Acto knife two thirds through the material where the filament will run. It's also possible to skip this step and just poke the filament through, which usually also works fine. Unload the filament from your printer and mount the filter housing on the extruder block. Mine fits snugly. If yours is a little bit loose, that's also fine, since the part will be guided by the filament and additionally held in place by the nose. Now just take the filament, insert it in the upper opening and poke it through the foam. Make sure that the material does not add too much friction to your system, which would lead to under extrusion and be bad for your prints. Heat up the nozzle and load your filament. Now you're all set. Clean the foam from time to time so that not too much dust accumulates in it. By the way, you shouldn't use the filter if you load filaments with very rough surfaces like many filled filaments. These will destroy the foam and even drag the residues in your hot end. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of such videos, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, auf Wiedersehen and until next time.